One time I went to True Dungeon at Gen Con, and I lost myself in the dungeon. And what did you find? I almost joined a cult. True story, actually. How many people have you invited to play D&D with you? I've invited everyone at this office, and everyone has said no. What's the weirdest excuse you got for not showing up to a campaign? No excuses. I'm legitimately playing with Legos most weekends. Or watching 90 Day Fiance. Um, I spend too much time with you at work. I don't want to spend any time with you outside of work. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with um, a bunch of f***ing nerds. I just never give an excuse. <laughs> he just keeps asking. <laughs> I just don't show up. He's never actually mentioned D&D uh, &D to me, so I guess I'm not on the list of prospective um, dragon slayers. If I'm invited, I'm showing up. Uh, no excuses, I would totally join. I think D&D is awesome. Last time I played, I actually enjoyed the role of Paladin. I'm a new dad, you know, so I like being strong, but I also like healing folks. If I was forced, <laughs> um, I feel like a witch to cast some spells, just for funsies. Maybe like an, a wizard, like an evil wizard. Most of the time when I play video games, I'm, I'm a medic. Love assisting people. I'd probably like take like the healer character and like turn them into like, I don't know, like a vegetable or something like that. And then I would just teleport out. I, I would think I'd be like a repo man, but that doesn't work in D&D, &D, does it? So like you show up and take people's like ma magic staffs back? Yeah, cause they owe money. They owe gold? I think I would be some kind of witch, turn people into frogs and stuff. I didn't even want to show up, so I'm gonna sabotage.